mom and dad always have um, been very involved in um, charitable giving, um, not just in money, but also in their time. So there's a tradition in the family of passing things forward. My parents really kept like, this is what we, li we live on. And then this is other money that we can use to do good things. They were constantly, constantly working for something good or something important to them. But it wasn't anything like, you know, flashy or luxurious. Like they were just, yes, even serene lifestyle. But they were teachers, not just in the, the academic sense. They were really teachers of life. And they did it by just living it out. That has been uh, a wonderful gift to us and to uh, a lot of people that they've worked with. And I'm, I would say, I remember a lot of other people in Northfield who lived the same way. They knew that they could just give large gifts, which they did throughout <laughs> their life. But um, uh, knowing that this kind of gift um, would um, likely have a bigger impact. So just trying to find, you know, the best use of of what they could give. It's important that this go to develop things in the community that benefit the whole of the community. As um, populations changed and needs changed, um, they, dad got into building transitional housing, you know, those kinds of things. And so just trying to find a way to help anybody that's within Northfield um, feel welcomed and be supported. A lot of their giving is kind of in that same principle that they have a lot of privilege and they they had this um, and, uh, and, and then you felt obligated to share it that um, yes, it was theirs, but um, it was it was theirs by uh, by kind of a gift and and not that they didn't work hard but you know they um there was a lot of luck involved in in those kinds of things and so mm -hmm. um, they needed to to share that privilege with everyone the idea is to not not try to pick and choose winners and losers in this we want everybody to be able to win by working and living together